You mentioned that like the the right thinks that um doesn't get corporate power and they think that it's uh sex pedo what is it pedo cults <laughs> a liberal you, pedo cult li- liberal pedo cult and you said there is but there there is it's not that but there is sexual blackmail what 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 were you referring to Oh, there's a, I mean, sexual blackmail in U.S. politics is a recurring thing. This, it goes back at least to like the 60s with Bobby Baker, who was LBJ's right-hand man. And uh, around the time that Kennedy was shot in Dallas, for example, the RFK was, was working with other people to uh, expose this Bobby Baker scandal. They may have dropped LBJ from the ticket because of that. But one of the things he was doing is just, you know, call girl rings, sex, sexual blackmail rings. A uh, part of Watergate involved a sexual blackmail ring as well. Uh, the Koreagate scandal in the 70s involved sexual blackmail. Uh, the Franklin scandal in the 1980s, if you've ever had um, the Nick Bryant on your show, I don't know if you know Nick or not, but he's written about the Franklin scandal, uh, which was uh, involved Republican bigwigs and the CIA and the Boys Town. Uh, and it's, it was pretty well documented and nothing happens to it. Epstein. The Epstein business was is clearly, uh, you know, the, in that realm of of sexual blackmail. I mean, his whole mansion was like uh, wired for video, and and nobody really explains like what the operation. Like nobody's saying that Epstein was a billionaire because he had this really awesome sex trafficking organization, and he was such a successful pimp. Like that's not what they're saying. What the actual narrative around Epstein makes no sense whatsoever, unless you think, oh, it's an intelligence operation. Was involving sexual blackmail. And then it's like, oh, well, that makes perfect sense. And so this is, uh, I think, you know, uh, one of those things that, is, that have been kept to the margins for a while, but Epstein, with Epstein, it came to the surface. And it's just another case in the last few years where I feel like the empire that the U.S. ran well, sort of covertly, is, is really out in the open, but they're just pretending that it's not there. Uh, so this is something pretty serious because as bad as it is, and as bad as the Epstein angle is, it's what's much more frightening to think about is the fact that all of this sexual blackmail and the crimes of these little operations are to keep a political economy in place that actually does far more damage to children, to the vulnerable people in the world. I mean, you have millions of people every year that die of malnutrition and the lack of access to medical care and clean water. And uh, the Pentagon budget could like basically save all those people every, you know, year after year, we don't do it because we maintain, we want to maintain this kind of political economy because it's, it's better for capital uh, that's invested around the world. If you have these sort of social conditions. So it's, 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 uh, it's really something dark to wrap your mind around, but this is, this is the world we live in.